Dear friends, families, mental health teams and medics, this is the advice that we want you to hear on how to deal with recovery restorative eating. Do not be shocked by the body that the sufferer has. This is the body's natural reaction to such a disorder. Instead, support them and keep telling them that what they're doing in this part of the recovery stage is perfectly normal. Do not shout at them or get cross at them and do not expect an end date. This won't happen for a very long time. Keep reminding yourself and them about that and allow the body to do its own thing. This is a process that one in eight anorexics get. So accept and expect that this might happen. This may be very hard for you to come to terms with because perhaps maybe when you were at medical school you weren't taught about this part of anorexia or anorexia recovery or maybe you weren't taught about anorexia or anorexia recovery at all in the years that you were at medical school. There is lots of findings on the internet for you to find and research and learn more about this part of the recovery and I will link some in the description box below. Talk to them, get to know what's going on in their body and allow them to speak to you if you want. We are all human, we want that emotional contact from someone. Learning from that person will benefit you on an emotional and humanity level as well as your research and your learning for the future. Because chances are, way down the line in the future, you might find someone in exactly the same situation as the person that you talked to and got to find out about what was going on. And you'll be able to tell that person what is going on and what is going to happen to them in terms of this. Do not let your own fears of weight gain cloud your judgement. It is up to you to try and tell the person that what they're doing is okay and hey, it might even help you to find the middle ground and stop worrying about your own weight by helping someone else. Do not talk about diets, do not talk about fat. I refuse for us to still talk about this in the 21st century and in 2016. Why does this still have to be a thing? I don't know, but let's stop talking about it. Accept that this is going to take a long time to settle down and it'll depend on how long this person has been restricting for. It is up to you to make it a safe environment for your patient or your friend or your family member it to be able to keep going on with this and to just push forward and get over the other side of this. There is another side to this but it will take months maybe to settle down. Do not let your own fears of weight gain cloud your judgement. It is up to you to try and tell the person that what they're doing is okay and hey it might even help you to find the middle ground and stop worrying about your own weight. Do not talk about diets, do not talk about fat. I refuse for us to still talk about this in the 21st century and in 2016. Why does this still have to be a thing? I don't know, but let's stop talking about it. Please give them a meal plan. It is so important you do. Mine didn't give me a meal plan, so hey, guess what? She totally blamed me for rapid weight gain. It is better for you if the sufferer has one so that you can have a better relationship with each other so that they can recover in a safe environment. And I hope yours is better, unlike mine, with my dietitian and mental health team. We expect medics and mental health teams to have all the answers to our problems. Sometimes they do not. They are human too and not robots. And like you and me, they actually have to learn still. We are still learning all the time. They're still learning all the time. It's a fact of life. It's probably better for you that if your medics or mental health team don't have a reason why as to why this is happening, to educate yourself on it. I had to educate myself, my parents had to. So please, it is so good if you do, because then you can swat up and you can really help that person. Like I said earlier, there are some really good links that I will put in the description bar below. Please share this around on social media to anyone who might benefit from this as well as just generally as we really need to talk about anorexia and anorexia recovery and restorative eating and really get rid of the stigma that is around it. If you want you can subscribe to my channel for more recovery videos, you can click like on this video and you can also use the comment section to talk about advice, um, general information, questions and just also more research and findings. It will really help people in this position. You can also chat to me on my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram which are all in the description bars below with lots of love, Eleanor.
or more known on here as Ellie Berry. <laughs>